I mean, I understand that you have to be smart for work. Of course you do. Um, but when we've got separate rules for men and women, well, there's a, there's a word for that, isn't there? There's a word called sexism. I mean, if they said, here's how black people have to dress in our office and it's different from white people, we'd go, what? What are you talking about? Of course you should be smart, freshly washed, clean uniform. But to say women have to have a full face of makeup, women have to shave their legs, it, you can't... It's not that you do a more professional really sexist, job. That's not really is it? That's not really a sexist well, Of course thing it is, if the rules are different. No, but I understand what you're saying about the makeup, that that is just exclusive to women but the mm. Dorchester and that is one of the brands that's obviously brought this whole discussion to light they have the same set of standards for men and for women they're not so asking no 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 they cannot either. possibly be asking men to wear a full face of makeup we and have shave though, their legs no, but <laughs> they <laughs> found out this morning that well, part of their list for men is to make sure they are clean shaven mm. mm -hmm. and must have clean manicured yeah. nails but that's surely don't you think Kate that is just in keeping with the line and with the standards of the Dorchester. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't spend an awful lot of time at places like the Dorchester. I'd love to. Me, but I'm I don't, there all I the time, yeah, you know, so, as you can so imagine. I hear, so I just, hear. you know, lounging around. But, but if you did go there, though, you would expect a certain standard from the staff. So let's say the lady behind the counter, she hands you the key, her nails are chipped, her makeup is garish, she doesn't really look like she's in keeping with the tone of the Dorchester. It would put you off and you would think, why have I spent £700 or utmost of that to stay here when but, I could be. I staying think, in the Holiday Inn. You see, I think you're right. I want them to look smart, but if we're because what we what they seem to be saying is everybody needs to look smart, but the women also need to look sort of glamorous. And I think the that word says, glamour's not mentioned yeah. in that. To wear a full face of makeup. I mean, that's not that doesn't help well, you do your job. Well, there's half it? a face of makeup. <laughs> well, which half? Yeah, yeah just the bottom side. half. But the yeah. um, the point of this is this letter that that is sent to staff yeah. is sent before they even turn up for interview. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if you don't agree with this, or if you yeah. see it in your letter, you go, oh, do you know what? Maybe this isn't. This this, if this is important to them and this isn't important to me maybe that's not really where I sh want no, to go for a job. I mean no, but the, I mean, first of all, we should be clear, this is a job which, for the, at the bottom level, people are being paid, like, £9 an hour to go and work at the Dorchester, at these £700 a, uh, you know, a night rooms. If they're going to impose all these rules, I think, personally, the very least they can do is, you know, OK, give you a grooming allowance, allow you to take some time off to get all these manicures yeah, and all this Holly kind said, of stuff. Yeah, but they're aware of earning... when they start. So if that is something that is going to be a problem, I know you mentioned a grooming allowance, but really, to keep yourself clean and tidy, it doesn't cost a lot of money I mean, you're to looking keep yourself... really, you're looking really here at a pot of of nail uh, nail uh, varnish uh, which varnish. you could use and um and and uh, and putting a bit of makeup on which I'm, I'm most people do I'm anyway. pretty sure when you guys come into work the same as the same as when I come in here I don't I don't expect ITV to say right I need you we from the second like we walk on, you walk on set actually they're going to hire you to be here early so that you can go through makeup and you can have all that stuff done if there's a requirement on you to do something above and beyond basic grooming then I think that but the company above needs basic to basic grooming do you really think things like chip nail varnish is above basic grooming surely that and even not at in all but but the option must surely be not to wear nail varnish because that doesn't look a mess does it that's how as long as you, you really nail think it's a nail does that mean wearing nail varnish it it's, 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 like just, it's, isn't just le having n uh, nails that look nice well, if they're saying clean your nails, I think that's really also, is it, isn't yeah. it? But, I mean, interestingly, the, 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 the they're thing also is, the saying... thing, the thing with um, with these hotels, um, these, these sort of big posh hotels, they're a shop window for our country. So if you have a whole bunch of shabby people, male or female, in the best hotels in London or in in any of our major cities, that are shop windows for the rest of the world, you know, come to Britain, look how we do things. But I, How's think, it that's look? I think that's exactly the point, Philip. It's brilliant. Is that is that if we have a thing where the men and the women Women look smart, they're tidy, you know, they've got a tidy haircut, they're smart, they're, you know, their uniforms are clean, that kind of stuff. That sends a, a lovely message that, yeah, we're smart and we're professional, mm. this kind of stuff. If the guys look like that and the women also have, you know, fancy nails and fancy makeup and all this kind of stuff, then we're sending a message that, you know, come to our country where the men are smart and professional and the women are objects to be looked at. And that's not, that's not do you know no, what I mean? That's smart and that's, looking smart smart does not mean that you're objectifying somebody, does it? That is not what But there's a difference saying. between smart and a full face. Yeah, but they're not makeup. saying come to work and wear a low-cut top and make sure you've got bright red lipstick, are they? They're, they're saying that. They're come saying shave you... your no, legs. Not. That's, that is okay, right, that's, that's enough. Legs. That's enough. That so <laughs> thank you, thank you. In a statement, for the Dorchester's general manager and UK regional director, uh, Roland Faisal, said the uh, Dorchester has a proud community of employees who uphold world-leading hospitality standards, including grooming, in line with many other luxury brands. Yeah. All new applicants are sent a copy of our grooming standards in advance of the interview. Right. What's on there? Well, lots of people.
people saying, Katie says, are women getting paid more to fund this? Uh, so just because I'm a woman, I have to spend an extra two hours getting ready to put my face on. It's not fair. Paul says, women have to stick to a work dress code. Uh, it's not sexist at all. Men have had to do it for years. It's called business attire. All right. Well, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed.